We've got a uh, metal case uh, 10 amp hour black battery that we're going to mount on a Sun Traditional today. Mike's going to show us uh, how we modify the basket. Uh, here's our instructions for it, which we can send over to you. Basically, we're going to cut the middle out of this basket so that the battery can slide into the basket and be secured on the bike. Uh, the other alternative is uh, you can put this guy, the 36 volt, uh, in a bag. Um, and any of our other batteries will go in a bag. Um, but if you have a large 48 volt or if you want to be able to lock it in place with the key, you'll need to modify the basket by cutting the middle out. And uh, then you'll need to screw the battery plate into the frame. Uh, and you'll need to raise the basket up with some little spacers down below it in order to clear the frame. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty involved process, but we'll show you each step and it'll probably make sense. So Mike's going to start off by cutting uh, the middle out of the basket in order to fit the battery through. And uh, today he's just using some tin snips to uh, clip it out. And uh, he knows that he's taking four columns out of the basket and he's going one row high. Um, so when, when he's all done, you'll be able to see he gets a nice neat piece out. And then to finish it, and if you're really good with the grinder, um, we'll use a, uh, a hand angle grinder with a cutoff wheel. And uh, that can help you deburr it. You can use a file to deburr it. You use the grinder for the whole thing, but you need to be you know, really in control of what you're doing. So you can see in just a few minutes we can take this basket apart and then we'll be able to fit a battery through it. Uh, the reason for this is if you want to slide the battery in and lock it in place you've got to have uh, enough room to slide it. As you can see here he's taking his four columns out. Then you got a basket with a hole in it, and uh, the battery will be able to slip into here. And so we'll show you in a minute how to mount the hardware on the frame and space the battery up high enough to fit in. So Mike has uh, finished deburring the quick way with an angle grinder to smooth out the clipped sharp edges and uh, then he's going to use this uh, vinyl touch-up paint. Uh, this stuff they sell for dishwasher racks. Uh, so it's just a white vinyl and it's a pretty good match for the vinyl dip on these baskets. And so that'll seal the ends up so that they won't show rust too much now that they're cut. So now that the deburring's finished, we'll move on to touch-up paint, and then we'll be ready to start mounting this back on the bike along with the battery sliding plate. So you can see we've got nice finished edges in here already, and we'll just put the touch-up on each one and uh, really blends in. It looks like the basket was almost meant to be this way. Let's just do a little dab at a time. And once it's dry, we've got a real good finish. Here we're back to the Sun traditional trike and we're going to prepare the trike to fit the black battery and its sliding plate so we can mount the battery on. Um, what we'll be doing here is finding the center of each of these rear bars between the two basket mounting holes and in those centers is where we're going, where we're going to mount the battery plate by drilling a hole for a riv nut and setting a riv nut in and then drilling the battery plate in the center to match it 
um, or you could do you know a four point mount there but this lets us put the battery exactly where we want it if you don't have a rivnut setter you can drill all the way through here and through bolt it um, so we use a template here to find the centers uh, which makes it really easy uh, you, you can also just measure the centers but we uh, we line this up and then put our center punch there for the pilot hole we've already center punched these you can see that gives us a really good start uh, if you don't have a center punch if you happen to have a v-block drill guide that can help as well you really need something to help you get the hole started on a round tube like this and so now that we've got it started Mike's using a step drill uh, which makes drilling in this thin metal a little bit easier you can also use a regular twist drill you just need to be careful with what you're doing so he's going to drill these two out and uh, he's just going to get started there and then once they're drilled you have what looks like this which is a 3 8 hole for our riv nut with a backup washer and so Mike's just going to set that riv nut in place with our riv nut setter and this is what the uh, battery plate is going to screw into again you can through bolt instead but uh, this just gives you a slightly uh, nicer installation and now the riv nut's set in and when we're ready, the battery plate's going to screw into that. Now, you'll have to take your measurement again and uh, transfer that to your new battery plate. Uh, we use a template again to make this a little bit easier. But you'll see that we're starting the centers of the holes at the end of the old slot. And that's going to let us line the battery up in the middle of the basket when we're done. So we start the holes off at the ends of the old ones, and then we just uh, use a step drill, a little bit of cutting fluid, and uh, drill through there. Uh, this, this should all be pretty easy to drill since it's aluminum. That's not so bad. You just need a good start to the pilot hole. Mike's going to a quarter inch depth in order to uh, fit the M6 screw. Um, if you are using step drill like this, you got to make sure you stop at the right depth. Alright. Now we'll be able to screw in the battery plate with the M6 screws that come with it. He's uh, finishing the hole up there, deburring it, so it's really nice and neat. So you can see we've got the battery plate approximately centered in both directions on the rear bars here and then it's going to be about centered in the basket that we've cut out and uh, once we screw it down it'll be all ready to uh, receive the basket and the battery and we'll have a really nice finished battery install here okay we'll just finger tighten those for now so that we can keep going once we've got them finger tight we can uh, take a look at the basket and its hardware. Um, when we get started with the basket normally, with the basket from JMB, uh, when you get a SunTrike, you get one set of basket hardware. You get two brackets, two screws, two nuts, two lock washers. To this, we add a second bracket kit. So we have two more, and that'll let us sandwich the basket to reinforce it and put a spacer under each corner to hold it up above the battery so you have room to squeak everything in. So Mike's going to show us how to do that. And uh, it's a little fiddly getting all the pieces lined up, but he's going to use the screws to hold it all together while he's working. And life will be good. Life is always good. So you can see he's got it just at the edge of the cutout that he made. And now he clamps each bracket 
on each side of the basket and that will give us something to back up the spacer that's going to hold the basket up above the battery and uh, give us a good sturdy installation to reinforce the uh, edges where we've cut it out. If you're doing this at home, your bike shop can get you a spare basket hardware kit from JMB if needed. Uh, we also stock those here so we can sell them uh, if you've got to get them. You'll see the spacers go on the bike frame there above each hole and they're going to hold the basket up above the battery when the install is done. Um, without the spacers you'd have to cut out an extra row from the battery which would make it a little little more than we want to remove. This gets everything fitting nice. All right, so now this is a bit of a three-handed operation, trying to get everything in at once, but we're gonna see if Mike can do it on his first try. All right, we've got all the corners here, and we're just gonna set the sandwich down on top of the bike. A little bit of fiddling it's all in and then you'll just need your lock washers on the bottom and your nuts and you can see that we've got a custom battery fitting in your sun trike and uh, let's grab the battery and show how it slides in place it's right behind your mic so with the battery, when you've got this, you'll unlock it and take the key out. So we've got several positions for this battery. You can see we're locked and on right now all the way clockwise. And turn one notch counterclockwise and uh, now it's off and still locked and if you go one more turn you push in and turn then it's unlocked and it's off you can remove the key and then you'll be able to slide the battery in we haven't screwed the basket down we've got the nuts just finger tight but with any luck we'll be able to show you how this looks when it's all together slide it in and now we've got a good sense of how it looks when it's finished, we can tighten up all the nuts and the screws now that we know that everything's fitting well. And you'll see that we've got the battery fit in the basket and nicely finished.